Hi guys, welcome to another video, and in this video, I am going to be doing a repeater build, and um, this is actually a repeater build that I got from a guy named Zanny Phantom, um, and I kind of modified it a little bit, and kind of made it a little bit better and more suiting for me, um, so yeah, um, first thing in this build is going to be obviously our repeaters, so, wrong place. Um, we're gonna have repeaters. You can really have any barrel. I'm just gonna equip my frost barrel just to make it look better. Um, you can really have any barrel though. It doesn't really matter. Um, it's just you want to have yeah, just any barrel pretty much. It doesn't really matter. Um, so I d I'm running blizzard barrel. Just run barrel the barrel. Um against the um element you're fighting so like if you're fighting a blaze behemoth run your blizzard barrel if you're fighting uh on um, blade if you're fighting a frost behemoth use your inferno barrel now we have also i like to run full bore chamber and captain's grip um full bore chamber um just makes you launch backwards on some of your shots and do more damage and then I have Captain's Grip. It really just depends on whichever grip you want. If you're fighting a behemoth with a ton of interrupt windows, use Saboteurs. If you're not, then just use Captain's Grip. Captain's Grip is better overall, though. Um, and then I run Lucky Magazine as my mod. And then my Prism. I run Searing Prism because the 10th hit in a row deals 250% in and major blaze damage. Um, and then I run Predator Cell and Evasion Cell. Um, and then for the um, um, armor, I run Light's Crown with Conduit, a plus three Conduit Cell, and a pl wh what will be a plus three Cunning Cell. And I run um, Light's Vert Vertu, I think is how you say that, with, it has plus two Cunning right now, I need to upgrade it again. And then you also have plus three Conduit. And then you have um, this right here. You have plus two cunning and plus three conduit. Oh, I just went over that. I'm, I'm dumb. Um, and then this, you have plus three rage hunter and another plus three rage hunter on it. Um, and you have Nasher's grips, obviously. Um, and then a plus three predator shell, and you will have a plus three etheric attunement. And then here you will also have a plus three etheric attunement and you want to run the lantern that is ember mains um just for attack speed with the repeaters and yeah so this is the build and for your s perks you will have a plus three conduit plus six I mean plus six conduit plus six predator plus six rage hunter um I have plus four etheric attunement plus four cunning and plus three evasion but these two right here etheric attunement and cunning will both be um they will both be plus six after the build is done and then you have this right here that'll just stay at plus three i recommend instead of this doing a plus three conditioning but yeah um for the behemoth i'm not even really gonna choose i'm just gonna go up against you know what we'll just go fight Scorchstone Hellion just to prove. Uh, actually, no, let's not. Yeah, I, I'll just go against Scorchstone Hellion. I'll solo him just to prove that it's a very good build. Um, yeah. And then. Yeah, so, and then I like to run any really potions that give you damage and stuff. And then health, damage, health, shielding. So basically, that's what I have. And basically, the only problems you should really run into with this build is having cells for it, because, and that's with most builds, you'll run into the problem of not having all the cells for it. Um, so yeah. Let's go into here. Boom. So, we'll see how good we do against Scorchstone Hellion. Now, this build can also take down Heroic Scorchstone Hellion. I just did not want to do that right now. I'm just going to do regular... Um, uh, this can take down heroic, but I'm just gonna do regular Scorchstone Hellion for now, just to prove a point. 
so yeah obviously I am much overpowered for this so I should be able to take this down but I just want to prove because a lot of people cannot take down Scorchstone Hellion solo and in general um it can be difficult for people to accomplish that but I'm gonna do it solo right now with this repeater build just to prove that this repeater build is extremely good like this got me through the majority this got me through pretty much the entire end game like completing some quests and stuff this this build allowed me to make other builds pretty much uh let's see where is he I, I know exactly where he is um see how good we do against this scorched stone hellion hoping to beat him but yeah if this build can take down heroic i'm assuming it can take down this, but I am lagging, so if I don't, I apologize. Now, actually, against Scorch and Hellion, I normally run different armor that gives me plus six molten, but that'll be for a different video against specifically being Scorch and Hellion. Because he spits out a lot of lava. Okay, see, this is what I need to watch out for. Full war chamber kicking in with tons of damage. We have the Ember Main Rapture kicking in. So yeah. Let's see what we can hit up here. Actually doing pretty good. Let's see. Now Scorched on Hellion is one of the harder people to defeat solo, so yeah. This, let's just see how good we do. Not gonna make up any excuses or anything. People may call you a noob for using repeaters. I completely disagree with them. It's because you don't want to be hit, right? That's what I always say. You're playing it safe. I'm not trying to. I'm just trying to get get through. I'm just trying to get by the game. You want to try to shoot the blast all the way down his body? Oh crap! Did I not grab the molten? Did I not grab the molten core? Or did it just not last very long? I think it just didn't last very long. Oh crap! Crappy, crappy. Got the charred brow plate. Let's see. Get the tail off. Huh? You see that 1,000 damage shot right there? This is this build is gonna be for dealing out high damage. Out high damage. Can go over here and drink. 
wearing Aether. But... And with, with repeaters in general, you do want to play up close. Um, that's because that's just how you want to play the repeaters. People may say, oh, if you're playing the repeaters, you're just going to sit back, right? No, with the repeaters, they're actually better played up close. Trust me, I'm, I use repeaters all the time. They're my most used weapon easily. I also have the highest mastery with them. What? I just did no damage. Drink some aether. Let's get all the aether. We haven't even used a lot of potions yet either, guys. I don't want you to know that. Elemental Fury Tail. So we also got that. Yep, there is Hellion. So we should be able to take him out now. Let's see here. Damage, That's beefy damage right there. Oh, I knocked over the head, bro. See, boom, all done already, guys. So that is the repeater build. Now, if you liked it, please like, subscribe. And comment down below if you have any other repeater builds you'd like me to review. So yeah, see you in the next video, guys. Bye!